This is my two year anniversary on YouTube. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a hell of a two years. My first year, I hit 1k subs. I was actually very happy with that. I hit it in December. I've had my channel since the 22nd of February, 2021. And it's been a hell of a, I'll be honest. It's been a fun, we've had, I've had some fun. I've had some fun, I can't even deny that, I've had fun. But there is also a lot of ups and there is a lot of downs since I've been on this platform. And I'm going to explain them to you right now. So this is my two year anniversary video on YouTube. It may be a month late. We are at the end of October. Time recording this is the 30th of October. Well, it's been a month late, but I'll get into that why I've been gone for so long. I've been gone. Last upload was like, apart from yesterday, I uploaded two videos, which was, hey, it's been a minute since I've done that. So at the start of the year, I got copyright claim from Metro Booming when I reacted to the leaked verse from Drake that came out. Got hit with a copyright strike, completely understandable. Had to wait three months for the strike to get removed. After that, that, that took me up until April. Let me go have a yander at my channel. Oh, my channel doesn't give the correct estima um, estimation of, for example, my videos because I've had to take a lot of them down due to the fact that if I wanted to get monetized, some of them had to go. A lot of shorts had to go, a lot of videos had to go. So currently I'm sat with 89 videos uploaded right now on my channel. So. Because if you want to get monetized, you have to follow a specific strict rules in order to be monetized on YouTube, which I have done. I've had numerous issues with getting monetized. So I first applied in March, got rejected, I applied in April, got rejected. May, I was finally accepted to the YouTube Partner Program, which I was very happy about. So for two months, I uploaded every single day. From May up until July, I was uploading every day. I was happy. I said, you know what? My first milestone was reached. Obviously, that was 1K. Then obviously the second milestone was getting monetized. I hit that. I was uploading every single day. I made a total of 20 something pounds on my videos in total in the space of that two months. I was gassed. I'll be honest. I was like, yo, this is sick. Then on July 20th, um, I got demonetized because I uploaded a short and YouTube said, nope, nah, 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 nah. You can't do that. And yeah, they demonetized me. So I said, ban this man. I said, yo, this, this ain't it. So I started uploading again. I was like, you know what, fuck it. For the next two months, I'm just gonna upload, do whatever. So then I was like, you know what? Yeah, it's understandable. You know what, they demonetized me, cool, whatever. I can apply in the next month. Nope. YouTube decided in June, they're gonna change the whole um, application process for the YouTube partner program and said, hey, you can only reapply in three months. Three months. Now, some of you may be thinking, oh my God, that's, it's not that bad. Before it used to be 30 days. So if I got demonetized, I could reapply in the next month. They said, yeah, we're changing the whole process. 90 days. I got demonetized in July. I had to reapply on the 22nd of October. Now to put that into context, that's a quarter of the year. Yeah, how mad that is. So I love the way I sound. I am very ill at the moment. I'm very ill. So they told me you can only reapply after three months. And I said, yo, that is taking the piss because before it used to be a month. But they said, because we want to get it right and for YouTubers in order to meet the requirements and be able to analyze their channel correctly, we're going to give you three months to review your channel. I don't need three months. I just needed a day. I needed a day, but I understand because a lot of people are applying that they wanted to like, you know, make sure that they have enough time to review everyone. I get that, but three months is taking the piss. 40 days, cool. 30 days was fine. Like 90 days was too much, I'll be honest. I had to wait a quarter of the year. That that hurt my feelings. I'll be honest, I'm a grown man, but that hurt my feelings. So when I started YouTube, I was 22. I'm currently 24 now. And yeah, but the ups is that I actually enjoy recording YouTube videos. That's the only that's the only benefit. That's the only it. I enjoy it. But I took a little downturn in September because I just like wanted to chill out. I just said I couldn't be asked no more because I said three months, my motivation levels went down. So my reapplication date was the 22nd of October, which was obviously last Monday that just went. I reapplied and I was accepted. And I said, yo, this is sick. I'm back now. YouTube partner program. After all my hard work, because obviously you have to meet 1,000 subs and 4,000 watch hours. Obviously, I still had that because obviously I had 2K subs right now, 2.1. And obviously the watch hours were still there. But if I didn't get successfully into the partner program this time, I would have had to increase my watch hours. I was on 5.2K watch hours. But obviously, because some of my uploads were from like the end of the year, for example, December, October, January, all of that stuff, I would have had to like, you know, re-upload again to meet the watch hours. So luckily enough, I got accepted now. Three months, is, I don't know where I was going to be in three months time. Like, I could have done anything. But yeah, so that took place and I was like to myself, yo, this, this ain't it. This ain't it. So I used to have fun. I used to, my love for the game changed. 
So my channel started while I was actually, obviously it was during COVID, so I actually went outside and recorded like videos and stuff with my friends. Everyone had a lot of free times. I was recording podcasts, gaming stuff. But then obviously since I've got a job, obviously another issue is nine to five. I'm trying to record YouTube videos afterwards and have a social life. You know how long this is. So my option was in order to like either drop a video once a week or reaction videos. So that's what I've been doing lately. I've just been doing reaction videos. Obviously, that's not the main concept of my channel is just to do reactions. I want to do football, gaming, like just anything in general like that I enjoy doing. Going outside, recording outside videos, blogs, stuff like that. I enjoy doing that. But working 9 to 5 has... Um, has a lot of negatives but obviously it needed to be done you know bills to pay cost of living crisis things of that nature so that i had to go do that but obviously if i end up making it on youtube inshallah and i can actually you know do some other stuff you know actually have time to you know do the videos that i actually want and obviously the people around me are free then we, we're up but until that time happens reaction videos are the way forward for me at the moment so let me recap the year to you guys right now Obviously, you know, I got demonetized, demonetized again. Obviously, that took place this year. Now, the videos I've recorded this year, now, I'll be honest, if you were here... I can't lie. I hate if you were here on my channel, from May to July, we were here every single day posting. Like, I had a field day. Like, bro, I was so up. Listen, let me just show you guys. I was so up, like... Look, hey, this whole year, by my dad's video, 600... Yeah, I was up, like, look, uh, where, where was it from? Here. So I was uploading five months, five months. Look, I was just uploading every single day. I was enjoying life, like, this was everything I wanted. I was enjoying myself, like. So I was, I was getting, like, a, a couple hundred views here and there. I was enjoying myself, like, this was my biggest one. Reaction got, like, nearly 500. Yeah, I was enjoying myself. Did an Omegle video, wanted to switch it up. My first YouTube paycheck. And it was so funny. My first YouTube paycheck video was three months ago on the 30th of July I was demonetized a week later <laughs> I was demonetized a week later I just did a couple of reaction videos here and there I was enjoying myself like life was good then I think around it here was my first video where I was demonetized and then I just said yeah 23rd of July this was my first video where I was demonetized and then as you can see once I got demonetized the videos became um, less frequent one two three four five six seven eight nine nine videos were dropped but in my defense a couple of videos had to be deleted in order for me to get monetized again on youtube so that is to my defense that's what took place but let me go show you guys my analytics okay i'm currently on 2125 oh by the way i was copyright striked from kaisena because i was live streaming the um seven days locked in but luckily i got to the day took the strike away so i'm good i'm good i was, I, was I had a copyright strike on my channel for one day but luckily enough, alhamdulillah, they took it away. So as you can see here, I'm on the partner program. So let me show you guys my analytics for the last couple of days. So as you can see, I, I wasn't uploading. I deleted a lot of shorts. And then obviously I started posting again yesterday. So as you can see, that's why I got a thing. I got 10 subs in the last, what was that, 28 days? Yeah, my, yeah and then my estimated revenue is 5p because um, I was monetized Monday. I wasn't really posting. So in the last year, I had 528k thousand views. 10.9k watch hours, 1.2k subs, and I made an estimate of 22 pounds and 75 pence. As you can see here, I was monetized. As you can see, I was monetized. I was rejected a couple of times. Then from April, I started. I got monetized. I started making money. I was like, life is good. Two months, I was constantly posting. I think the most I made in a day was three pound 49. Then after here, I was it, the the 26th of July. I was demonetized for three months until obviously I was allowed. To to be monetized on the 22nd of October. That is a little track of what I've been doing for the last year on YouTube. All I need is one. So the way that I want to build my channel is one, I need to build a core fan base because obviously if I can interact with people like in my comment section, stuff like that. Now that I'm back on YouTube, I want to post a video like what, every two days? Because every day is a bit of stress, like it's a bit long. But obviously once with work and all that stuff. Because after nine to five, you do get lazy. Like real talk, you do get lazy as well. And I don't want to just do reaction videos. I do want to switch it up because I think reaction video, a lot of people will say it's lazy content. Let's be real. A lot of people, I just sit there and watch other people's videos and I react to it. I, I think what I say, what I think, stuff like that. Some people find that lazy and just, yeah, but it is very true. It is, but obviously when you don't have time to do other stuff like properly, apart from on the weekends and on the weekends, football's on, you get it. Obviously I'm an Arsenal fan. A lot of Premier League games are on. I spend my time watching that. And then after that, when that day is done, woof. Imagine there's a game on 12.30, 3pm, 5.30. After it ends at 7, my day is done. So stuff like that. I just need to manage my time better. 
but I am back now all I need to do is build a base I just need to build a, a viewer base and then after that I can proceed from there but I need to know what I want to record because I can't I have so many stuff that I want to record I want to bring back the podcast that I used to do the peak podcast where I talk about football but obviously bringing everyone together it gets a bit technical and a bit long because everyone's working everyone has other shit to do it's not like back in 2021 where we had a lot of free time on our hands then second what I want to do is actually record content that I enjoy I like to do outdoor videos and stuff like that but obviously you know cost of living crisis bills to be paid things of that nature so yeah it's a bit harder to do that once after I'm done with work because I work from home every day and then after that it gets yeah it gets a bit technical and I get a bit lazy legit after I finish work I take a fucking nap that's what I do I take a nap if you want to know that's legit what I do because I'm tired I do accounting so afterwards I'm very tired and I just want to go to bed and then after that I wake up psh, it's night time <laughs> You get it? Making it on YouTube is very hard. I'll tell you that for free. It is very hard. It took me two years just to get 2k subs. So if I was to do this trajectory of getting 1k subs a year, I will be 122 by the time I hit 100k. I won't be alive. I will not be alive when I hit 100k if I keep going down this trajectory. So if you're new here, subscribe. Leave a like on the video. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. But for the time being, um, I want to try and switch it up from reaction. I want to try and do some other stuff. At the time I actually switched it up was when I did some Amigo videos. I do want to do gaming videos. I play a lot of FIFA. If you want to see me play some FIFA, I play foot champs. You want to see that? I'll be honest. I rage too much. Like I get very angry. But yeah, if you want to see some FIFA stuff, let me know. Um, COD's coming out in two weeks. We will be there. We will be there. I might do the camera grind. I mean, I'm looking forward to the camera grind because Modern Warfare 2 was my game. Like you get it. Like I got my my client to 21st in EU. That me. You get it. So I want to go do some stuff on gaming, game related things. But yeah, it's just trying to make it is very difficult in this economy and this climate. But at the end of the day everyone is trying to do this so it's gonna get very long and very hard and it's very competitive i'll be real so yeah i haven't done a sit down video in um a year as in me just straight to camera not watching nothing this was weird i'm enjoying it though and by the way i've had to um, sit and cut a lot of stuff because i've just been sneezing so flipping much but yeah if you just see my table it's just full of uh, with, like toilet paper because i keep blowing my nose but yeah that's a little sidetrack but yeah making a youtube is very hard AdSense in the UK is very low when it comes to like reaction videos and obviously I haven't hit a K in my videos in a long time I think my last video was 500 was my most that I had recently and that was the reacted to Tana Mojo reaction video and then the other one was when I, react, I was playing Badansk back in the good old days I got that thing video when I was 700 and yeah so I'm back now I'm gonna try and upload two, um, a video every two days I'm gonna try and do that for you guys because i call i'm enjoying it i'm back now i might react to locked in every single day but yeah i want to try and switch up i like the Amog amigo video amigo video was so flipping joke i'm gonna try and do stuff like that switch it up because i'll be it was more fun because yeah because people do say that reaction videos are very lazy i understand i fuck with it i'll be real i understand but yeah making it on here is very hard but we will be there we'll be there i want to do some more football stuff things of that nature but yeah um, this is just me trying to sit here and talk to you about what how YouTube is like two years in I'll try and do this every single year usually last year I just watched some of my videos but I haven't been around as much as I was in my first year compared to this year I'm a lot older I'm not wiser if you want to take my advice I'm not wiser but if you want to make content don't be like me I have a lot of things that I enjoy which means that my channel is everywhere so if people like to have one sort of thing for example if it's gaming stick to gaming but obviously I like gaming, I like real life stuff, I like football, I like so much other things, these shows, all of that stuff, skits. So I'm trying to blend all of that together in one channel, which is very hard because like, for example, one video will get views, one video people may not like, another video people will be like, oh, now go back to this, to do that, stuff like that. So I want to keep it entertaining, I want to keep people interactive and stuff like that. So I'm going to try and, try and make something that I enjoy. So you may see a lot of random stuff on the channel every couple of days, but yeah, bear with me. I will be better hopefully into my third year let me see how many subs do i want i want to hit 10k i'll be real 10k would be nice if i hit five i'll be grateful if i hit five i'll be grateful if i hit 10 well, well i'm not up if i hit 10 i'll be on the up and then after that locked in season five we'll be there <laughs> i'll probably won't be, i'll probably won't hit probably 10k and if i step it up and i start doing some stuff that i enjoy i'll probably hit it. but yeah that's the goal for next year 10k and yeah if i do that we're we'll, we'll throwing a party. We're we'll a party. If I hit that, I'll give someone hundred pounds. I'll be real. If I hit that, you know how and crazy that'll be. And order for, in order for me to get paid on YouTube, by the way, I have to hit a threshold of sixty pound a month. In order for them, that's the minimum threshold to get paid. I just learned that the other day. So that twenty two pound that's on my channel, yes, it's staying there for it's staying there for a while until I, you know, what I'm saying. So yeah, if you like the video, share it, leave a like, subscribe. 
I'll catch you guys in the next one. This was just a lot, um, a little in-depth of how my second year went. And yeah, I was off today. That's why I'm recording this video. I was off today. Tomorrow I'm back to work, so it's going to get a bit more technical and a bit more... You get it. But yeah, end of the year, we'll end the year off right. I'm going to be honest, has YouTube changed my life? Probably it has done, I'll be honest, because I'm actually doing stuff I actually wanted to I enjoy doing. I've wanted to do YouTube for a long time. But yeah, now I actually have the finances and stuff like that to do what I want to do. So, you'll see a lot more from me. I will not let um, not being monetized motivate me and into not posting again because I did do that for three months. I said, bun this, what I worked hard for had just gone down the hill. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to let that happen to me again. But yeah, just a little side note. I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be back now for good. But yeah, YouTube is fun. It's so... <laughs> no, YouTube is fun, I'll be honest. I enjoy doing this shit. Honestly, I want to do this shit with the people. Yeah, I'm saying? I want to do this shit with other people. Doing this shit by myself, I've done it for too long. I need people around me because I have more fun. Because, yeah. See what, let's see how the rest of the year goes. I've been Ahmed Abdi. Catch you guys in a bit. Take care and peace.